Hi guys, Steve Elite here again. Hope you're all having a great day. This is a painting I did in a live stream and it's done in Art Rage 5 with tubes of paint and palette knives. Um, this is the condensed version, so I've sort of squashed uh, an hour and a quarter into 10 minutes for those of you that like the fast version. So let's get into it. <laughs> So here we are in Art Rage. I'm using an A3 size canvas and I'm opening up a reference image. This is a photo I took the morning before I did this painting. And so you set that off to one side. And I liked it because of the sort of moody lighting. We've had the winter uh, for the last few months and everything's been a bit dreary and uh, sort of greys and dulls. And this is the first sign that things are looking up and the colours are changing. So I've changed the canvas texture as well in this one. Uh, I normally use uh, the paper texture, but I've got a, a proper canvas. I put on uh, an orange ground with a roller and I kind of intended that to be the uh, sh shine through. But really with the, with the technique I'm going to use here, it, it wasn't happening at all so i'm just using the regular oil brush to get on um lots of colors just sort of give me a mood and as i said in the live stream i wasn't bothered that they're not blending together at this stage i just wanted to get some local color over uh, the whole of the painting to give me the sort of um where everything was and the layout of everything um Obviously, I had to change things quite considerably because I'm using a different uh, aspect ratio. My painting's a lot um, more square shaped than the photograph. And I'm moving things around because I don't want the sun right at the edge of the photo. That it wouldn't work. So um, zooming in on the picture, I'm just sort of getting an idea of where everything is. But you can see I've got these nice dark colours in the foreground. I've got bright colours in the grass. Lots of brights. So just like when I did the owl painting, I get the tubes of paint. But this is in Art Rage 5, not Art Rage on the iPad. And I'm squirting colour on the painting and blending that in. So I'm still on the same layer as the one that I, I use with the oil brush and that's great because all of those colors that are underneath the painting get blended into this as well which I, I really like and see how quick I'm getting this sky in this old painting only took one hour and 15 minutes I kind of felt I short changed everybody in the live stream because the whole thing was done and dusted in an hour and 15 and I was sort of just dabbling and Add in the odd twig and branch and things just to keep uh, the thing going. And in the end, I just said, well, you know, this is finished. So I love this style of painting. And you'll see in a minute or two when I zoom in how that thick paint uh, really looks. And this bit, I really like the sort of middle bit to the right because I left that with the thin paint that was put on with the brush. And I used turpentine in the brush as well. And I'm doing that now. I put turpentine in to thin the paint down a bit and it does work it's amazing how uh, the brush technology or the brush engine in art rage just feels so real like you've got lots of turps in your brush or whatever i darkened up the blue i felt that um it was a little bit bright and i wanted to get more of that kind of early morning sunrise this was taken in the morning by the way so uh, it was an early morning sunrise and look at that thick paint look at the texture on that it's just awesome people were asking do i prefer this to corel draw and i was saying the only reason i was using this was because with it being a live stream i feel a lot more confident using art rage than corel painter uh, i said corel draw before didn't i i meant corel painter and um i'm sure i could do equally as well and get even better effects in corel painter but i'm just not th that confident with it yet i'm definitely getting there but um i feel that um art rage is uh, a bit easier to use and also i think maybe more people that follow this channel 
prefer me to painting Art Rage rather than Corel Painter. I don't know why I think that, but I do. In fact, uh, you could help me out if you pop in the comments if you prefer videos in Art Rage or Corel Painter or whatever app, really. That would help me plan future videos. So anyway, I've got that tube of paint. I created a new layer for this because I didn't want the trees to um, damage the underlying sky. But as soon as I got them in the right place with those tubes of paint, I merged the two layers down because it just wouldn't blend otherwise. So I merged them down and I found that um, if I made the palette knife small enough, I could sort of push the paint away as I'm doing there, look, and get in this sort of effect that makes it look like a, an ash tree or an elm. I'm not never sure which. And see how the... Uh, using I'm using the thick oil brush here now and when you just paint that in it just pushes the other paint away it's I've said all this with the owl painting but that was done on the iPad and I wanted to show you how uh, it works equally as well in uh, Art Rage 5 this is on a PC of course I'm just sort of adding some um, color there or, or lights to the edges of the trees I'm doing that with the oil brush and then I felt I wanted a fence popping in there because it's sort of um, along the main road and the fence is sort of broke down a little bit where you could sort of get through into that field so I've sort of added a few posts and things working on the trees on the left now doing exactly the same just flicking them in with a not the brush down, size down to about 20 percent i think for this one there we go just sort of getting the branches in there put in a few highlights there's none in the photo but i just wanted a few catching the edge of the tree felt that added a little bit of something And then I realized all my branches stopped at the horizon line and I didn't bring any lower than that. So uh, I went back in and added a few more in there. I also felt that I needed to move the sun slightly so it silhouetted the trees on the left. And then I brought the pink back in there. And all this is done by sampling colors off the canvas using the alt key putting a little bit of texture into the foreground well the midground actually just squirting that paint in and then I wanted to add a few highlights really in the foreground just to give the idea that that really is bumpy ground there we go a few more highlights popped in there just for the the sun early morning sun's catching the edge of the trees and the branches i didn't like the light i put on the tree stump in fact i didn't like a uh, tree stump i mean fence posts i didn't like that at all so now i'm looking at the sheep and as always uh well not always sometimes i do make a little bit more of a conscious effort and try and paint things accurately but in this case i just wanted a few blobs of color that um gave the impression of sheep so here we go i use the uh thick oil brush for this and i um tick the auto clean um option And just put in a few blobs. And I think they look like sheep. I really do. I think they look great. Very happy with that. So at this point, I am now sort of um, playing around with it. I notice I got rid of those um, fence posts, the stumps in the foreground. I, I didn't like them. They had to come out. And um, just fiddling about, adding a little bit of, um detail in the distance bringing that 
uh, bright colour into the mid ground there. Popping in a few more twigs that I thought would look appropriate. There we go. So it is, we're getting quite close to the end of the painting now. I just sort of have a quick look, zoom in on the um, photo to see if I could do anything with the sky. Then I get it signed because I know I've pretty much finished it really. Put a, a little bit more detail in the trees. And I'm just fiddling. I really am fiddling. I mess about with the sky a bit more. Um, but that is it. That is my early morning sunrise painting of a field with some sheep in Art Rage 5 with um, tubes of paint and a palette knife. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, big thumbs up as always is much appreciated. Don't forget to uh, tick the bell so you get notifications of when I'm releasing new videos. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I have lots of videos like this. And I would love to be sharing them with you. So hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye.